welcome to our new episode in this video like uh, we will be seeing what is routing and why do we need it basically angular router is a core part of angular application okay so what it does like it enables us to build single page application with the multiple views and way to navigate between the views so it won't feel like that is a single page application because angular is like a single page application framework because we only have an index.html within that index.html we show all our pages okay so if you have seen my previous video you can see like uh, we have seen like structural directive attribute directive and we have created four components for it and one more component is there for user where we have seen what are the ways or what are the variable declaration we can do okay so let's try to apply or create we can say uh, routes i mean it's a mul let's uh, create application where we can see all the uh what we can say pages in a single application right up till now what we have done like we have uh, shown the single selector of particular component into our app component okay so the starting point is like in app module okay so router is a module for that we need to pass array of the routes okay so array of route is nothing but an object which is having just two parameters route and your component that are the two mandatory one obviously we have multiple also but these are the two uh, what we can say mandatory parameters we have to pass to the route object okay so we are in app module dot ts let's create an array let's declare it as a const route array okay so this is just a way to declare routes this uh, inside that we have path And what we can say let's say ng class is our first route then component ng class component is our component let's create second route again we have path ng style In the style component okay so for now we have created two components okay what we have to do now in import statement we have to import router module router module dot we have a method for root inside that we have to pass the array which is having the collection of route right now our array name is route array let me change the spelling So this is done. Okay, so we have created, we have implement, we have imported router model, and for that router model, we have specified that this router model is for whole application. That is why for root, and whatever the routes we have created, we have passed that to the for root. Means the two routes which we have created will be accessible through throughout the application. Okay, now in app component dot html, up till now we used to do like this whatever the component we have to show we used to render it, render it selector like this but now we we are going to use bootstrap navigation so let's go to bootstrap let's get to the three websites okay so we have to use the navbar let's use the simple one without search let's take this one we already have installed the bootstrap okay let's remove this let's remove this also let's name it as angular or it's okay now this is the navbar right which we have copy pasted from bootstrap itself okay we need one div okay let's add a class to container wait to it in this div we need router hyphen outlet okay so router it outlet is a directive okay which is an in inbuilt directive this is a place 
where activated route will be visible okay so when we run the application you will see like what i am telling you so basically for navigation we have i mean with basic html we used to use href okay but with angular we have router link instead of this link then whatever the route name we have created let's say ng class is there slash ng class same we need to replicate in the next link let's say it is ng class let's give a name okay so let's say we would think so coming back to our application So if we see like we don't have any path activated till now if i click on this so you can see ng class route has been activated and same has been loaded okay so let me inspect it so if you remember like in app component we have rendered router outlet directive so you can see beside the router outlet we have our component app ng class if i click on the ng style you can see that is being replaced by the ng class ng style component okay so this is nothing but routing straightforward pretty simple okay what we need what we need to do first we need to create array of routes okay it is nothing but a collection of object which is having two mandatory properties path that will be your route name and component like on this route which component you need to render okay same as the second route and the component name which you want to render on the activation of this route and then you need to pass this route to your import statement with router module with dot for root and then your route name i mean array name okay then you in your app comp app component let's say we don't have i mean we haven't implemented login authentication so we can use app component as my what we can say is shared component where that will be available at all the times okay so this will be navbar will be constant at all the time what will be changing is like router outlet this place okay whichever route is activated that particular component will be rendered beside this okay so this is constant and we want uh, we navigate like this this dot router link is equal to whatever the path we have okay this is from html consider like from your component on any button click or any link click or any programmatically from any logic you want to navigate to some another view okay so let's see that let's say in ng class we have a button at the top one button was already there let's take another button go to style let's create a function go to style let's create a function here okay so in this component first we have to create a service for uh, register a service let's private router colon router okay so with router we can have all the things which are present in the routing library if you can see let's use that this dot router dot okay so you can see whatever the no i mean whatever the methods and the properties routing routing library has provided you can access all those okay so right now we have to use navigate by url okay if you can see it requires tree string okay so in that we have to specified our route name so style let me save it let's go to ng class okay so you can see go to style function is there if i click on here you can see i'm going to the ng style ng class okay so this is the navigation from your component suppose you have some logic in your function and based on the logic you want to navigate to suppose consider a scenario where you are in the login page on after login when you get the role of the user and based on the role you want to navigate to different route in this in that scenario you have to do like this okay so you have to create a uh, instance of the router service 
private router then router lab router service okay it is coming from angular router then this dot router dot navigate by url and what your your route name is there okay you have to use like this okay so this is all about routing this is the basic idea which you need to create multiple base application using routing library okay so that's it for the current video in next video we will be seeing like api consumption or service consumption and we using http client how we how we consume third party apis or whatever uh, apis we want to consume to angular application because angular is a client side library it has to depend on the services from services or the api only we get the data and we render it on the browser okay so stay tuned for the next one thank you